What's up, Quack Out the fans? It's HangarDrawing.com, and today I'm going to be showing off the interior of my V303 Seeker by WL Toys. Uh, this is my <coughs> quadcopter. So I purchased this. I've been having some issues with it uh, <coughs> as far as the range goes. So I just wanted to give everyone a look inside. There's not too many videos of uh, these opened up, especially with the newer model. So this is the newer model of the um, V303 Seeker. It's actually got the X380 board in there. So it's a new board. As you can see, it says XKMV2.1, which is almost like the um, XK Detect uh, X380, which is the higher version of the V303 Seeker. So there's a lot of similarities between the two boards. There are some uh, things that are a little bit different, as in, you know, this doesn't have auto takeoff. This here is the receiver, which is different on the V303 Seeker. So they're using the old receiver uh, with the V303 Seeker and the new board, which is kind of odd, um, given the fact that, you know, you can't even buy these uh, everywhere I've looked online. Um, they're sold out. I'm having a range issue and I'm not sure if it's the receiver or the transmitter but um, this thing looks pretty clean for the most part. There's a, a little nick on one of these uh, little things here, these little power things. So I'm not sure if that's actually the case or or if uh, it's the receiver but I'm leaning more, more towards, I'm sorry, the transmitter. I'm leaning more towards the transmitter being the issue. But just to kind of go over some different functions and features of uh, the V303 Seeker. So you have your motors here. The wires run into your ESCs, which are your speed controllers, which is this uh, long board here. These can be replaced. Then you have from there, a wire actually runs off the ESCs. And you'll see it comes in. It's a pen wire here or servo wire. And it runs into the power board. Also, too, you have your positive and negatives that run in off the ESCs, which power the ESCs because they're connecting to the power board. Um, on here, you have, this is your back flashing light that clicks in here. And then, like we were talking about, you have your receiver uh, that hooks in here, and then it actually goes here into this slot right here. It screws in, and then you have your antenna arm, which you can jam down uh, the leg, and that's how it comes standard. Now on the X380, <clears throat> the receiver does have two antenna arms, which I'm assuming that's why it probably has a little bit better range, as well as a little bit better quality too as well. <clears throat> if we look here on the, on the top of the shell of the quadcopter, you'll see that it's covered in foil here and up here. This is where your GPS device is. And then this wire runs in and it hooks into you know, obviously where it says GPS on the board, which is this one right here. It says GPS right there. Um, then you have your, your landing sensor, which is right here. This braided wire it runs around, comes down, and it goes into the leg. The sensor is actually right here, which tells it uh, when it's about ready to land. Um, you know, it's very helpful, especially if you're using the return to home function. It'll get it there, but the motor order on this one goes and they're labeled. Your motor one is here, motor two is here, and this is facing forward, so uh, the lights, the eyeballs would be right here on it. <clears throat> so you have your, your motor layout is motor one, motor two, motor three, and motor four. Um, so there's a few extra slots here. It looks like uh, I'm not sure exactly what this one would do. Um, I'm going to look on the X380 and see what that would actually do. Could possibly be a way to hook up a better receiver, um, which I might have to find a new receiver transmitter combo that will hopefully work with the firmware that's installed on this. So it has the flight controller of the X380, but I haven't read anyone successfully being able to update their firmware with the X380. Uh, just because of you know some of the different parts such as the receiver that are on here and then over here you have Your gimbal your USB port for when you hook it up to the computer and it runs underneath the bottom of the board But this is the v303 seeker in a nutshell Just to give you a look at it if you've 
never looked at it inside you know you can slow this video down and and just kind of look around it and see exactly what it is if you don't want to take yours apart um, here's your power cables that run down below to the bottom deck here and there's where it plugs into the actual battery your flight controller is in here in this box and then like we were saying you know you have your ESC's your motors are three wires running in here positive negative and a signal soldered and then from here it runs out powers up and you have a clip in here that goes into the power board that runs to the flight controller to tell it how to fly and then your antenna um, your light on the back and then we have over here is we have your your leg sensor um, so this is the only leg that you really need to be too concerned about when you're taking this apart because you do have to remove the legs to get to this screw here because it's in an odd angle um, so just watch out for this front right um, footing here this landing gear because you can't take this one all the way apart <clears throat> unless you get into the inside and you're able to un unplug it from there um, but that's about it um, so you know after looking inside everything looks fine I'm personally probably gonna put some tape here on the venting and other places to kind of seal this up the environment in which I'm flying it's a little dirty so there's a lot of dust and grime I've been cleaning off but the board the solder everything looks clean uh, the receiver doesn't look like there's any damage to it I'll try to zoom in just a little bit but this piece here this little bitty piece here it looks a little jacked up um, but from what I can see online it looks fairly similar it could just because it's glass, glass kind of looking or it has a glazed look to it um, not quite sure but uh, for the most part everything looks fine with this receiver uh, you know some people did say to try to increase the range because I'm having a, an issue where it goes about 50 meters and then the red light blinks on it goes into a weird, a weird return to home mode where I can still kind of control it have to limp it back to me and then once it sinks back up with the transmitter then I'm able to fly again so some people were suggesting trying to relocate the antenna on a quadcopter I'm not sure where I would quite put it um, it goes standard down in this bottom right leg motor 4 can't put it in here because the sensors here I could try to put it over here but then it's gonna be you know loose inside so I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do with this yet I'll take a look in uh, the different options maybe see what is online as far as what other people are doing um, but it leads me to believe like I said that it is my my uh, transmitter that is the problem um, that's causing the issues there's a, a, a faulty solder point it looks like on the transmitter has a, a wire similar to this that runs up into the uh, antenna at the top the plastic antenna and on the board in there this solder point uh, is pretty bad so I've tried to resolder it and take it for a test flight and see if that helps out but regardless here it is um, open so I'll we'll take a look at it uh, if this video helped you out be sure to give it a like thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more upcoming videos boxing flight reviews and flights